if you have been wondering the Gemini 3.0 videos or tweets that you have been seeing about how people are accessing this, the model has not been even released, then this video is exactly show you how you can try to achieve that. Only thing is, it's not 100% probable that you would achieve this. It's probably like a 20% probability, I would say at this particular point. There is no official word from Google that this is Gemini 3.0 Pro, but this is probably one of the best programming models that might get launched anytime soon. So in this case, I've got this text where I've said create an SVG of a Xbox game controller. And you can see here, I've got an AB test. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get to that point or how you can try to get to the point. But you can see that this is the cleanest SVG of an Xbox controller that you can get from any flagship model. And this confirms that this is a special model. And how do you get it? There, there is a manual way, there is an automated way. First of all, I'm going to show you the manual way. The manual way is all you have to do is go to AI Studio. And once you go to AI Studio, which is you have to log in with Google account, chat with models in the playground, and you can select Gemini 2.5 Pro, and then just simply send that text. So in this case, create an SVG of an Xbox game controller, like maybe like Game Boy game controller, and then just send it. Once you send it, the thing that you have to notice is, in this case, you can see it is invoking only one particular model. Ideally, what you want is that you want a column split where you have two models. So one, you have an experimental model. The second one, some other model. It wouldn't tell you what model it is, but you can naturally see what model that you're getting. So in this case, you can see that it has gone through uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro. So if I do preview, you can see that this is this is the output. The output is probably not the greatest output that you would see because this is not the secret model that we have tried to invoke. Now, what I've done is you have to do it again and again, like probably like 30, 40 times. You have to do this, go here and then select the model and then click a new chart and then do this again and again. Sometimes it's good if you keep a temporary chart and then do it so, so that it is not going to save every time it's going to save your time. So this is the step-by-step -step process how you can do it. But what I did is I tried something different. Unfortunately, it worked. I'm using Comet browser. This is from Perplexity. So this is a browser where you can do a lot of browser automation if you have got a Perplexity Pro account. So I went to Comet and then I said, keep this as URL. And then I said, Gemini 2.5 Pro as a model and constantly try this prompt. So I said, create an SVG of an Xbox game controller. The way you do is run this and see the result and then a new chat and run again. The objective is to see the two column split result, which indicates an AB test. So one, you can either wait and monitor while it is doing. The second one is you can probably uh, assume that it is going to stop at the AB test. So in my case, I didn't want to give the AB test chance to comment. So I was observing it. And again, just for people who doubt whether it is my own. So you can see here, it's my email ID, one little coder at gmail.com. And you can see that I've constantly tried this. In this case, it was not me, it was Comet. So I'm going to send it. And once you send it, you will see Comet will take over the scene here. So yeah, so you can see the highlight here. So that means Comet Assistant has taken over my browser and it is going to do the same thing, whatever we just said. So it's going to send the prompt. You can see the prompt has been done. It is sending the prompt. And the idea here is that, can we see that particular screen? So right now you can see that it has not seen the screen, which is the double column split. And I don't think it cares a lot about the double column split. So it is going to repeat it. It's going to reason. So you can see here it is reasoning. It is starting the new process. So uh, you can just, you know, to help it just discard and continue and it is going to do it again. So it's going to do it again. And then if you try it multiple times, I think in my case, probably like 20th time or 21st time it happened. So if you try it more number of times, there is a very good chance that you might come across this model. There is no official word from Google that this is Gemini 3.0 Pro, but a lot of speculation online that this is Gemini 3.0 Pro. I hope this was helpful in attempting to access this new secret model from Google through AB test invoking. If you have got any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.